when I was a kid, there was a public school or a public pool. And in the summertime, if we were able to work up, it was 50 cents to go to the public pool pool all day long and then it went to a dollar so a dollar meant we had to find that many more cans or we had to swipe that many more quarters uh whatever it is to get into the deal but we would go to the pool and i'm six seven eight years old by the time i get to eight years old there's a high dive on the other end of the pool that i never went in the deep end right it's a big fucking pool and I go in the deep and finally it's the, I'm in the deep end and I jumped off of the low board into the 12 foot deep end. And now I'm in the deep end and I'm eight years old and this is cool. You got to remember how I learned to swim. My brother threw a hip at me into the pool. I went right. Start doing this program here. <laughs> That's how I learned to swim. So it's all kind of just as you, as you can. Finally, there's the diving board. Finally, I'm listening to too much bullshit from all my buddies. You got to get your ass up there. I'm about eight. I don't remember specifically, but I think I was somewhere around eight. So up I climb. And I mean, when, you know, from the ground, that diving board doesn't look very tall. But once you start to go up that diving board, you're like, I don't remember there being this many stairs on this ladder, man. I don't remember there being this many rungs on this ladder. So you climb. And I, rem I, I remember this clearly as an eight-year-old. I climbed up to the top. And then just as you, ha have, to, as you have to transition from the, from the ladder onto the board is a little bit dicey, right? Because mm -hmm. you could fall backwards, lose your grip. I mean, again, this is 1970s. Nobody gives a fuck about safety. Uh, <laughs> and finally, I get up there and I walk out to the edge. And and Billy, I'm telling you, I never saw any. I don't. I, I, it's probably why I'm scared of heights to this day. It was so <laughs> fucking high. I didn't know what was going to happen. I I was certain I was going to die as an 11 year or as an eight year old. And I remember standing there wanting to turn around and go back. And of course, there's kids hanging off of the ladder. You're not going anywhere. Half of them are screaming at me to jump. The other half are screaming at me, period, <laughs> right? Because they want to get this process going. And so I couldn't turn around. So there I am, this little kid standing on the edge. There's nobody encouraging me. There's no parents telling me what to do. There's no one telling me I'm going to be okay. It's just me against this fucking diving board. And then all of the pressure coming from the kids behind me and me knowing there's no way I can climb back down. And so finally you just, you know, you're out on the very edge and I'm looking over the end and my to toes are co curled around the end of the diving board. And it's a pretty long diving board. So it's doing this. I don't remember what happened to me as an eight year old for anything. I can't remember back that far, but God damn it. I remember this diving board and I'm standing there. And finally, I don't want to say I jumped. I'm going to say I more kind of stepped right <laughs> down fell forward and boom into the water I remember hurting my my foot hurt when i hit the water because you're i don't know it was probably 15 feet high it's pretty high and hit that 12 foot water and you go down deep underneath and you're deeper than you thought and you swim up to the top and you get out and you're like oh i didn't die i'm still alive and you make your way over uh uh to the other side right and you climb back up and you're like I'm going up that diving board again and back up. You went in the diving board. By the end of that day, I'm doing fucking uh, 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 cannonballs on a full run with the full jump as high as I could go <laughs> off the end of that diving board. What's this got? Jesus Christ, Jerry, what's diving boards got to do with business? Because that's in anything in life is like that diving board. Once you go do it, it's never as bad as you think it is. It never is as at, you think that. If I go to start a business or I'm going to do something different or I'm going to take this person's advice, my whole world's going to come crashing down because there's no way humanly possible I can survive that. And then you go and do it and you not only survive it, but you're like, holy fuck, I can fly. I, I could literally run now on that thing and take a jump or, you know, take a bounce at the stop and get myself thrown up even higher and come crashing down and make a big old splash and run right back and do it all over again, where a half an hour before I was frozen solid at the top of it. And that is life. That's how these things work. And that's business in a nutshell. Business is, is, is freezing. It, it will freeze you, I should say. It will absolutely just stop you dead in your tracks. It's that difficult. But life can be that difficult about anything. So when you have something to overcome, you came from a bad background. You had a tough life. All of us had tough lives. All of us had bad backgrounds. As I've said before, 17 years old, living in a, in a, in a, in a $25 a week um, um Flop house. Flop house. Excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> you know, with hookers and, and heroin addicts. 
I mean, it doesn't get any lower than that, but there's other people who had it low. I could have let that stop me, or I can just climb to the end of that thing and jump myself into the deep end and immerse myself in it. When I was 28 and I went to start a company, that's exactly what I did. I didn't know the first fucking thing about it, except I knew I wanted to keep working. I knew I wanted to jump off that high dive. I saw other people do it, so I knew it was possible. I just had to get up there myself, walk on the edge, feel the pressure. I got family at home. I got a mouth to feed. My son was just born. I have a wife. I've been married for a couple of years. I had a house that was partially built because we were doing an add-on. So I had all of these different pieces of pressure that were not unlike the eight-year-old kids, you know, down the side of the ladder, uh, screaming and yelling at me. And I had to make that decision because it would have been very difficult to turn around and go back down to jump into the into the water. But once I did, I figured out that I had abilities, and I had I I had I had abilities I didn't know I could that I had. I could accomplish things I didn't know what I that I could accomplish, and I was able to do things that I didn't know I could do. Uh, be they work eight straight days with no sleep, uh, be they work three days with no sleep, be it take on intense, immense amounts of pressure. Could it be going and selling? Could it be hiring 50 people in a year when my major competitor went out of business? Could it be buying real estate, buying gas stations? Could it be building houses? Whatever it was, pretty soon after I learned that lesson that I learned when I was eight years old on that, on the top of that, uh, on the top of that diving board, that lesson helped me throughout life because I never forgot it. I think about it all of the time. So when it was like, buy a building, fuck, I can't buy a $2 million building. What do I know? Diving board. You're standing at the top. Looking down over the edge. I can't turn around and go back. I need the building. The pressure's on me, right? What do I do? I'm. What if I fail? What if it doesn't work? Ah, straight in. Now, maybe I don't get to the edge as quick, <laughs> right? Maybe somebody's got to come rescue me. But does that stop me from climbing the diving board the next time? No, because if you do, now you're really frozen. Now you're really not going anywhere. So uh, to all of those who are looking for those excuses, to everybody that, uh, that is going through life, particularly you younger guys, and you think that, uh, that, that you don't have what it takes or you don't have uh, or you can't put into it what it takes or you're fooling yourself about what reality is, uh, all the rest of that. And it just, you, you got to understand those of us that have been here before and done that before, if you're not as nervous as an eight year old jumping off the end of a fucking diving board, then you haven't done it correctly. You're not in the right place. If you're not scared shitless about what you're doing. 